calmly after saying goodbye to the man he believed to be a rancher, went to the livery stable and claimed the horse left there for him by Dominic Taylor. Did he? Yeah. As he rode from town to the nearby D Circle T, the Lone Ranger joined Cotto at the opposite end of the main street. Cotto was holding the reins of the great horse Silver. Oh, 
Bob, Jake, and Slim waiting at a corner table. Who oh, are you stupid fool? Oh, who are you talking to like you, that? You, Jake, and you, Slim. You didn't finish off Taylor at all. What? That's right. And the Chinaman you shot wasn't Wong. You're crazy. You said there was only one Chinaman on the way. The one we shot wasn't Wong, then who was he? I don't know, and I don't care. Can he understand English? Because if he can, I yeah. Slim, he heard us talking. He understood us. We're cooked. Well, let's make sure he doesn't talk. We've got to act fast. Do it before the sheriff gets him here to town. How? Get a mob ready to lynch him. Within minutes, a large crowd of men from the cafes were on the street. Egged on by inflammatory speeches being made by Clay, Jake, and Flynn. They had... Oh, my God. 
masked man and Indian had been the one who wounded the mob leaders. The Lone Ranger asked, Sheriff, how did you ever let them get the jump on you? Well, I don't know. I saw them coming. Most of them fellas I knew, and I didn't want to shoot at them. Don't forget that Chinaman shot Dom Taylor. They had a right to be mad. What you're saying isn't true. Tom Lee is my friend. Your friend? This Chinaman? Yes. He'll make a better citizen than those men in that mob tonight if he gets a chance. But, mister, he shot Taylor. That talk about Taylor, I can't believe. Oh, hey, look, oh. he's coming, too. He's going to be coming. Here, give me a hand. You're lifting from the saddle. Help me, please. Tom Lee had suffered a concussion, the reason for his lengthy period of unconsciousness. While the Lone Ranger helped to revive him, Sheriff Randolph, puzzled by the turn in events, told the story of the evening as he knew it. The masked man was skeptical. Tom and I arrived on the stage from Kansas City together. He was alone. There were no friends of his anywhere near. Please, I, I hear what you're saying. Did they get away? Did who get away? Your friends? Those, those men who shot Mr. Taylor. Jake was one. The other's name was Slim. Sure, if you hear that, he said Jake and Slim. Do you mean Jake Spencer and Slim Weston? I don't know. I didn't see their faces. They shot me, and I pretended to be knocked out. They had another partner, Clay. Sheriff, he's talking about Clay Geary. Tom Lee recalled in weak tones but vivid manner his hearing Taylor's cries, then the shots, and then the conversation he'd overheard after he'd been wounded and before the two crooks knocked him unconscious. When he finished, the Lone Ranger said, Well, Sheriff, does the picture look clear to you now? Those dirty rattlers. Crying and getting away with a thing like that. They haven't, Sheriff. You can't be too sure. In court, it'll be a Chinaman's word against this. Hey, here comes the engine. Don't reach for your gun. That's Toto. He's my good friend. Oscar, over there. Oh, he was Yes, Toto. He watched what happened to Mao. Then break up. Some go to the doctor's office, but doctor not in. Others go to cafe. Then, Toto, you're going back to at least one of them. And you're going to give him a message. That is, if the sheriff will consent. I'll consent, all right. It looks as if I've made fool enough of myself for tonight. You and this young Chinese boy here approve that to me. Tell me what you have in mind. Certainly, Sheriff. It's this. Take Tom Lee to some place near here where he'll seem to be alone. A uh, cabin, perhaps. I know where there's one near. The old widow Black. She's moved out. Uh, good. Now, here's my plan. Tom will find one of the men Tom Lee met. Jake Spencer and told him Tom Lee was hiding in a deserted cabin on the East Road. Tom Lee was lying on the bare floor of the deserted cabin when the door opened slowly. Hey. A man holding a lighted lantern stepped inside. It was Jake Spencer. He spoke to someone outside the door. Oh, he didn't tell the truth. He's in here on the floor all by himself. Well, what do you know? There he is, Clay. Yeah, I see him. He's awake. You, China boy, you hear what I'm saying? Yes, I hear. Did you talk to the sheriff about anything? Yes. I told him about Slim and Jack and you, Clay. Why, I had a yellow bomb and notice. You listened when we were back at the ranch after I shot you? Yes. After you shot Mr. Taylor, too. Oh, you dumb oxen. You were even more stupid than I thought. If he told all that to the sheriff, we're finished. We better get back to your place, Slim. Grab the money you took from Taylor and ride away from here. We'll be far away before the sheriff gets after us. I don't think you're ready. Come back, man. Yes, and the sheriff. Shoot him, boys. No. No. Thank you, Jerry. No. What's the matter, Jake? Did you slip? No. Did you forget I already shot your gun hands once tonight? Yeah, yeah, I forgot. I couldn't draw. My arm started to bleed again. I couldn't care less after what you coyotes tried to get away with. You have them dead to right, Sheriff. Now if you get Tom to a doctor. Dr. Wilde will take care of him as soon as he's finished with Mr. Taylor. Meanwhile, we'll see that the doctor's wife does everything possible for your friend Tom. Good. You might bandage these three crooks, too, before you put the cuffs on them. I'll do that now. Tom, Tom, a terrible thing happened to you tonight. Might have been worse. From what I've heard, they might have hanged me. But they didn't. And I doubt that they'll ever try to hang anyone again, except by law. You're right about that, mister. It'll prove to them how wrong they can be about a lot of things. Especially about the color of a man's skin or the slant of his eyes. Tom, 
While you're in town, I want you to be my friend. Well, well, well thank you, Sheriff. Goodbye, Tom, Sheriff. Come on, fellow. Oh, wait, please don't go. I... Oh, he's gone. After all he did for me, he's gone. Only somewhere else to help another hombre who's in trouble. Or to make people get smart to themselves. You see, he's the Lone Ranger.